This technology blows my mind. The train is leaving. Hurry up! Whew. It's okay. Nothing happened. Hey guys, welcome to Shanghai International Airport. In today's review, the Shanghai Maglev train. We're a bit late with this review. The train's been running since 2002, so ah, 16 years late. Need to go downstairs. Let's go. Wow, I'm super impressed by the size of Chinese airports. So, let's see how it all works. First, we need to buy some tickets. Different times, why does it travel at different speeds? In the morning, 300 kilometers an hour. Now, 430 kilometers an hour. 430 kilometers an hour. Okay. Shanghai Maglev Train. There's a huge group of Chinese tourists. Domestic tourism is super popular here. Huge groups are traveling around the whole country non-stop. Look, over there. Cool. Four cars here, and this is one of two lines they've got. Another one is in Beijing. The Germans used to have one too. Ah, but it doesn't work now. I wonder if it's sitting on the rails or if it's already hovering. I can't tell. It looks like it's hovering a bit, you see? The biggest problem... Oh, hurry up! The train's leaving! The biggest problem is that they wanted to make this track line longer, but decided not to. Because the tracks used for maglev trains can't be used for anything else. Take the Sapsan, for example, the route between Moscow and St. Petersburg. Yeah, it's suitable for all types of trains, locomotives, railway handcars, not just Sapsan, but the maglev tracks. You can use them only for maglev trains. I can feel it. It, it lifted up. And I'm sitting and all of a sudden it's... Woo, and here we go. Look, the speed's increasing, up to 100. Look over there, it's a subway train. That's a Shanghai subway train and we're here on the maglev train. Speed, 100 kilometers an hour. Feels fine. There aren't any safety belts. You don't need them at these speeds. The first magnetic cushion train was launched in Germany in 1984. Even in those days, it reached a speed of 501 kilometers an hour. Yeah, even back then. Oh, we're a bit slanted, you see? The horizon, it looks a little tilted. We're now traveling at 300 kilometers an hour. That was nuts. Another maglev train just passed us. It's okay, we're all right. We're going about 400 kilometers an hour right now. Take a look. So, we're almost there, we're slowing down. It takes about 7 minutes to go 30 kilometers, and we're already slowing down. By the way, in Moscow region at Ramenskoye, they made some magnet cushion trains, and it didn't look bad, but unfortunately the project didn't last. I think it's cool that the Chinese kept working on this idea and have been running these trains since 2002. I'm sure the trains don't bring in much money though. 400 kilometers hour, about that? <laughs> that was pretty scary. I thought the glass was going to fall out. Even Dima jumped. This is the best techno attraction in Shanghai. I also read on Wikipedia that one of the disadvantages of such trains is electromagnetic pollution and even electromagnetic smog. If you guys know anything about this, you're welcome to leave your comments and tell us more about it. So, here we are, at the platform. It slows down all by itself, no wheels, no trolleys, nothing. It lifts up a bit, and it goes. This technology just simply blows my mind. <laughs> I'm on the red carpet, cool. Here's the first class car. Individual leather seats, and they're twice the price. Hey, let him take a pic. 
See how Chinese transport routes look? Everything is on the second level. They've got lots of different tracks on the second level, the maglev, some ordinary trains, and the subway trains. Why waste space? They install a bunch of pillars, and they build a second level. It's beautiful. Look, when you come to Shanghai, we recommend you take a ride on the Maglev train. A trans-rapid Maglev train. It's time for us to move on. There's lots to see here and film here in China. This was the SMT Maglev train. See you. Bye.